This is part one of a two-part series on automated systems. Technology has led to great advancements in automated systems which require little or no human interaction. Automation is used in many areas, including industry, transport, agriculture, weather, gaming, lighting and science. Automated systems usually comprise three distinct components. Sensors, microprocessors and actuators. A vast array of different sensors exist which are used to take measurements from their surrounding environment. We looked at sensors in a lot more detail in the following two videos. Sensors provide these measurements as input to microprocessors, which then process the information in order to make decisions based on the readings and predefined rules. Some of the decisions made by the microprocessors typically result in instructions to control an actuator in order to make physical changes, such as activating an alarm or controlling a motor to open or close a door or a valve. These components can often be used to create a feedback loop, where the changes, the outputs from the automated system, affect the following set of inputs received from the sensors. That's everything you need to know for this video. Pause now and take some notes.